So let's talk about a, a different molecule. Let's talk about formaldehyde. Formaldehyde. Formaldehyde is CH2O. And if we draw this out as a Lewis structure, the two hydrogens are bonded to carbon, and the carbon also has two bonds to an oxygen. That oxygen has two more lone pairs. So this carbon has a full octet, has eight electrons around it, and so does the oxygen. So when we talk about the hybridization, we normally only think of atoms that aren't are not terminal atoms atoms that are central so this carbon is central to this, to this molecule it's attached to multiple other atoms so we'll talk about its hybridization uh, this carbon has three three attached atoms two hydrogens and an oxygen um, and it has no lone pairs So the number of hybrids that we need is going to be three. We need three hybrids. So let's write out our atomic orbitals that we have on formaldehyde. And to get three hybrids, we need to include the S with two additional Ps. And so we're going to get three sp2 hybrids. Um, sp2 because they're one part S and two parts P plus a leftover unhybridized p orbitals, specifically the pz orbital. So let's draw our carbon. And this carbon within, not very pretty, but within the xy plane, because we use the xy p orbitals to make the sp2 hybrids, we're going to have spread equally about this carbon the three attached atoms. I'm going to draw them this way. And I'm putting the, the carbon and oxygen within the plane of the writing surface just because they're sort of the stars of the show. They're the biggest atoms, and so we'll give them the, the easiest to interpret placement, and we'll make the hydrogens go in and out of the plane of the writing surface. Now, what's left over on this carbon that we haven't shown is this p orbital. And that's our pz. Now, we're used to seeing our p orbital contain a lone pair, but this carbon does not have a lone pair. Um, the p orbital instead is being used to make a second bond to this oxygen. To return the favor, this oxygen needs itself to have a lone pair, and this will also be a pz that the two p orbitals need to have the same orientation so that they can overlap. And we will talk more later about bonding. So if this is a little confusing, that, that's fine. But anyway, both the carbon and oxygen to make a double bond need to both have a lone, p, uh, I'm sorry, a p orbital. And those p orbitals need to have the same orientation. I'm not going to worry about how I place these lone pairs because we're not worried about the hybridization on that oxygen. But that, that's going to have, an, um, that oxygen does have its two lone pairs. So um, this is an sp2 hybridized carbon. It's a bond angle. Oops, angle should be about 120 degrees. And you know, that would be our bond angle of 120. We could also measure between that oxygen and that hydrogen and the two hydrogens. And its geometry this carbon has three groups spread around it, so it's going to be some kind of trigonal. And those three groups are occupy a single plane, so it's going to be trigonal planar. So the hybridization of the central carbon of formaldehyde has, is, is sp2 hybridized, has a bond angle of 120, and a geometry of trigonal planar.